Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> this is the uh, site that uh, up there on the 21st floor where we've moved about uh, two and a half weeks ago and where we're starting to operate from. Um, so let me tell you very briefly in about 10 to 15 minutes um, s some focus on one of the projects we'll work on. So primarily our mission in the um, institute is to um, work in multidisciplinary research in computer science and engineering and to help implement the national priorities for computing research. To do that in a manner that is relevant to Qatar and to the region, and also to leverage the unique historical, linguistic, and cultural context. Uh, we have two broad areas of focus, and one of them is core computing research, and the other is on computer-enabled or cyber-enabled computing discovery. That is, one is focused on, on com uh, uh, contributing to computer science, as a culture and one to applied areas and multidisciplinary areas. The center will focus on measurable outcomes by publications, prototypes, patents, and trainerships, postdocs, and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna uh, um, give you a, a brief overview of our implementation plans that we've been working on. And in fact, this has started with many of the folks here uh, going back to, to 2006, 2007. The research programs that we'll focus on, and I'll take one as an example. And then I will give some uh, why, why we're doing this here. Uh, the planning, in fact, is uh, been long, thoughtful, uh, we started in 2007 with the um, pre-Q first and, and so on, and went through very um, uh, deliberate steps of analyzing potential problems, what should we be working on, what is relevant and what is important, went through external reviewing, very, very rigorous external reviewing process to arrive to some of these uh, conclusions and areas. We produced uh, three very uh, important documents. One that describes the institute and, and the mission of the institute. One to describe the efforts in the Arabic language technologies. And, and another one uh, uh, that looks at uh, other topics like internet computing and specifically on cloud computing. A part of our planning, implementation, and planning process is to develop a strategic advisory board that is going to be small but active, consisting both of international experts and also of local um, um, stakeholders. We've started some of the, uh, what I call, um, uh, listening and community building processes, exercises, we are holding one workshop uh, tomorrow afternoon to talk about infrastructure, and that's part of our sort of uh, uh, listening to what is going on. We will have a uh, group or a round table of about 15 renowned scientists that work in natural language processing that will gather here in Doha, in, in fact, the Nasser Tower, to... Um, um, hone down our plans for work in Arabic language technologies. We are doing the same thing in March um, um, uh, on cloud computing and so on and so forth. So these are exercises of what I call community building and listening exercises. So we are also building the partnerships and the colors supposed to give a, um, a view of where we are with, with these partnerships. Some of them are, are here, are concrete, we are working with these folks, and some are in planning, some are in discussions, and so on and so forth. So let me go to the um, uh, projects. Um, within the core computing program, 
we have projects in Arabic language technology, specifically in information retrieval and in natural language processing. In internet computing, we are working and, uh, by the way, this uh, uh, institute I had uh, not mentioned at the beginning, I've been here since August uh, 2nd, and so now we are in the hiring process. We've hired about nine people, and we are continuing to hire, hopefully ramping up to about uh, 35 to uh, 45 people by next uh, fall. So cloud computing is an area where we're hiring, and we have uh, uh, concrete uh, uh, plans of what to do. And in visual analytics is another area that we are emphasizing, that is combining visualization and data analytics uh, together. So uh, obviously, as uh, Mejd, uh, had, uh, uh, Dr. Sakhar had, men had mentioned, uh, Arabic language technologies are important, and that is something that uh, we plan to focus on here. It's something that is not going to be done very seriously in other areas of the world, and I believe it's an area where we could uh, 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 make a, a solid and, and, and long uh, contribution. So in here, we want to emphasize uh, Arabic as a first-class citizen on the internet. And within this, um, uh, we have many uh, um, important and open research areas to uh, work on. The question is, why Arabic uh, uh, beyond the fact that it is our language and it's a part of our uh, 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 linguistic heritage, um, in numbers, um, Arabic uh, has a fairly large number of users, but 20, uh, almost 20% internet penetration, and so on. So uh, there is a, um, uh, a big room for growth, but also Arabic provides a wealth of problems for researchers in morphological complexity, in syntactic complexity and also in orthographic complexity. These are some examples, uh, 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 very s uh, small examples for why, in fact, Arabic is not, uh, uh, I, I may be portraying it as a negative thing because Arabic is a very complex language to deal with uh, uh, digitally, but for researchers that's good news because it gives us a wealth of information. This is an example, a word like wakitabuhum, analyzing such a word is uh, uh, fairly complex because the prefix and within the stem of the word there is an infix and there is a suffix to the word and they're all connected together and deciphering these things, breaking these things to the, uh, to the uh, stem of the word uh, is an important thing. There's also problems with uh, um, the fact that uh, Arabic, a nearly a, a free word order language that is uh, uh, in, to say a sentence like the man drinks the juice, you could say it in many different ways. In fact, you could reorder the, uh, the, 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 the verb and, 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 and so on, uh, and, and you still get the same meaning. Uh, there is a fairly nominal sentence structure. Uh, um, um, you have sentences without verbs, for example, and there is a very rich uh, a diacritic structure that um, uh, gives more concreteness uh, 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 to the, to, to the uh, um, language. And these are sort of the instigators, these are the drivers that make us uh, uh, think that this is uh, uh, an important thing. So differences between, uh, in addition, there are differences between uh, spoken and written Arabic. So there is a standard Arabic language and there are many dialects. There are limitations to the tools that are available. Uh, there are many tools uh, still in research. Um, there's tools in morphological analysis, in uh, parts of speech tagging, named entity recognition. By the way, there is a poster by uh, the folks at CMU here on named entity recognition, um, and, and so on and so forth. So there are many limitations in low quality, for example, in OCR, in, in parsers, in speech recognition, decretizers, and so on. And also, the industry uh, is fairly limited in the uh, uh, Middle East 
in terms of the depth of knowledge in NLP and IR. So there are a lot of solutions, but they don't tend to take advantage of all the wealth in the uh, uh, research that exists. In addition, there are trends in web usage in Arabic that some people find uh, scary, but that we find them uh, challenging. For example, there's transliterated, transliterated Arabic text into Latin characters. It goes on on the internet. There are many diverse dialects that are used on the web. And there's also mixed uh, Arabic, uh, standard Arabic dialects and English, or French sometimes, all used together in the same conversations in, in say, Facebook. And how to recognize that and how to decipher that and make sense out of it. Uh, forums, chat, and blogs are uh, a big part of the culture here. but. On the other hand, e-commerce is very limited and weak. Uh, uh, companies' presence on the internet is still weak. Um, online advertising is almost non-existent, if let's say weak. That is, it could be looked at as bad news, but for us, this is good news because it's, it, there, it gives us plenty of opportunities and also the market uh, has a lot of growth. The next thing that I want to uh, 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 concentrate on is while we want to pay attention to the Arabic language, both in the search engine, like measured had mentioned, in um, web experience, and also in social interactions. While we want to work on all of these things, we see a problem here that there isn't an innovation fabric around it. If you see, for example, at the, 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 what's going on in, 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 uh, in Google or, or, or Yahoo or Microsoft, I believe personally that that innovation is that much stronger and that much uh, uh, more important, not only because of what goes on in those wonderful and great institutions, but also what goes on around them, that there is, in fact, an innovation uh, a fiber. Th th there is an environment around. It. There are a lot of uh, small startups. There are a lot of groups that are generating ideas in voice uh, search, in semantic search, in real-time search, in reverse search, and so on and so forth. In 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 in, in doing image search, things in immersive uh, uh, web experiences, in experiential. Uh, a computing and experiential search. That is, how do I sort of keep track of the experience that you have and use that in further searches that you do? In order to do that, we cannot rely only on what goes on in the institute. We've got to encourage an innovation environment, young people to form uh, groups, to form companies, to do startups around us so that there is a, a circle, if you wish. Some of these things will go on in QSTP. Some of these things will go on around CMU, Texas A&M, perhaps Qatar University, and so on and so forth. So all of these things feed into our research agenda. And in fact, uh, search engines, web experience, and social interactions. Just look at the number of, this is, by the way, a snapshot. There are many, many more. And many of these companies will not make any money eventually, would not be here 18 months from now, but they would have had a, a meaningful uh, impact of, of, of sort of spurring this innovation uh, uh, cycle. So this is what uh, I, I want to uh, conclude with, that we will do research in Arabic language, in cloud computing, and in uh, um, uh, data uh, visual analytics. And also, we will pay attention to creating an innovation environment around us to be able to feed in uh, uh, and, and, and to spur some of this work. Uh, uh, I invite you to come and visit us uh, in the Nasser Tower. We're only about a 15-minute drive to the main campus.